Hello! In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate the use of a custom serial event function that will monitor data coming over the serial port. It is common in programming to listen for different input events such as serial data and execute code based on these triggers. We will use this function to receive serial data that we type from the PC and put it into a string that we can potentially manipulate in our Energia sketch running on the launchpad. This example is purely software, so you won't need any hardware except your launchpad. Now let's get started. First, plug your launchpad to the computer over USB. Next, let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Communication, Serial Event. In this code, Serial Event runs after each time loop processes. Since we are placing characters read from the serial monitor into a buffer, the serial event will send characters received back into the main loop to be processed. The best way to demonstrate this is to place a delay at the end of the if statement in the main loop. The string read from the serial monitor will be printed to the serial monitor with a delay. During the delay, if you type more characters into the serial monitor, the code will send these characters back into the main loop after the delay to be printed to the serial monitor. In the setup function, we'll initialize our serial communication at 9600 bits per second, creating a string variable input string to hold our incoming data and create a boolean variable string complete to let us know when the new line character has been passed. We'll go ahead and reserve 200 bytes for the input string using the input string dot reserve 200 method. That's all we need to set up. For the loop section, we'll check if the string complete flag is true. If it remains false, we will continue looping, but if it changes to true, we'll print the context of the input string to the Energia serial monitor using the serial dot print line function. Then we will reset input string to empty and our string complete boolean back to false. Finally, we add our serial event function, which checks for serial.available. We will declare a character variable in char, where we will store each character read in the serial buffer. We'll use the append operation to add each new character to the input string, and continue this until we read a new line character, where we will set our string complete flag to true. And that's it. Press the verify and download button open up the serial monitor and watch as strings you type get printed to the serial monitor.